how to dub a video three different ways. In this video, I'll show you three different methods that you can dub over your video easily. I'll be covering how to upload your own audio file and dub it over your video, how to use text-to-speech AI voices for video dubbing, and how to choose from over 100 languages in myriad accents, allowing you to reach a global audience. And lastly, I'll show you how to dub over your video using a voiceover. You can dub your videos in real time as your video plays in front of you, saving you time and money because you don't need to hire any voiceover artists, a sound booth, or even a microphone. We have a lot to cover, let's get started. Now for this, I'll be using Veed, and firstly, let's cover uploading our own audio file to dub over a video. Now we're in Veed, we're gonna click upload a file, and we're gonna select our video file and also our audio file. We can upload multiple files at once. Give that a moment here to upload and then once it's done, we're going to turn off the audio on our video file just so that it doesn't distract from the dubbing. Select the video layer in the timeline and then you can turn down the audio or switch it off completely. You can also lower your audio file if your dubbing is too loud. Now, let's say that you want to trim parts of your audio out. Let's say you made a mistake and you want to remove it. Place your playhead to the part in the timeline that your mistake begins. Select your audio layer and click split. Put your play ahead to the end of the mistake and click split again. Right click on the part you want to remove and hit delete. Then you can click on the gap in the timeline and hit delete on the keyboard to close the gap. If you're ready to add some final touches, feel free to skip ahead to this timestamp. But to learn the next method for how to dub a video, stay tuned. Now for our second method of video dubbing, we'll be using text-to-speech with realistic AI voices. We're gonna open up Veed and click upload a file and import the video that we want to dub over. Once it's loaded, click media in the toolbar and select text-to-speech. We're now gonna type in or paste in our script. There is a 5,000 character limit, so if your script is longer than this, don't worry, you can add as many text-to-speech segments as you like. Next, choose your language, and you'll notice that each language here has several dialects to choose from. Select the one that's best suited to dubbing your video, and now you can choose a voice, and you'll notice that we have both male and female speakers here for dubbing. To hear a demo of each one, just click the play button and then choose your favorite. You also have the option here to choose your speaker's mood and the pace at which they speak. Once you're happy with your dubbing choices, click generate. I'm gonna briefly play it back now so you can hear your video is dubbed over. Come with me to climb up the O2 Arena in London. Perfect, now you can move on to this timestamp to add in the final touches and export your dubbed video. For our final method, we'll be doing a voiceover in real time as our video plays, allowing us to time the dubbing to fit the scene perfectly. We're gonna head back into Veed and click upload a file and we're gonna choose the video that we want to voice over. Now click audio in the toolbar and select voiceover. Once you click the red record button, you're gonna have three seconds here, so get ready. And if you do have a script prepared, make sure that it's in front of you. Then you can go ahead and hit record to begin dubbing your video. Hit stop recording once you're done, and if you've messed up, just hit retake and try again. Now, once you're happy with it, we can move on to adding the final touches. We're gonna add subtitles to our dubbed video because again, it's gonna increase our audience pool to people who are hard of hearing, second language learners, and those who watch without headphones. Not only that, but within Veed, you can subtitle your video's original language into over 100 languages. Again, increasing your global reach. So click subtitle in the left toolbar and in here you've got two options. Option one, click auto subtitle to subtitle in the original language or option two, click translate and you can choose whichever language that you want your subtitles to be in. Now, whichever option you choose, go ahead and click create subtitles and give that a moment here to transcribe. Veed's AI highlights words of low confidence in orange. So if they're correct, you can mark them as such, but if they're wrong, just delete it and type out the correct word. Moving on, click the Styles tab, and now you can customize your subtitles by choosing any font, size, color, effect, and animation. Because a dubbed video lacks a presenter on screen, you're gonna wanna make it more engaging by adding in sound effects and background music. So click audio in the toolbar, scroll down to sound effects, and click search. Then you can type out the sound effect that you need and click the play button to hear it. Choose the appropriate one and click the plus sign. You can drag and drop your sound effects to where you would like it to begin on the timeline, and you can add as many of these as you like. Next, let's add background music here to give our video some ambiance. Put your play ahead to the beginning of the timeline and click audio in the toolbar. Scroll down to stock music and click search. 
You can search for a music trait or genre and then you can click play to hear a demo. Click the plus sign to add it to your dubbed video and if it's longer than the video itself, just push it over to the left so everything ends in sync. Now you can lower the volume of your music and you can also add in a fade in and fade out effect. Perfect, our dub video is finished, so let's export it. Click done in the top right hand corner and click where it says quality. Then you're gonna choose your render settings, go back and click export video. You can now watch your video back to see how it turned out. Lastly, click download and download MP4. And that's how to dub a video. I really hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one. Bye.